Molly's special special. It was a blustery day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was excited. He was on his way to meet a new engine called Molly. She was waiting as he pulled into the yards. She was waiting as he pulled into the yards. Molly was bright yellow. She had great big wheels and a shiny funnel. She looked very smart. Hello, Thomas puffed cheerfully. Hello, Molly chuffed back. Molly looked sad. What's the matter? asked Thomas. Emily laughed at me because I have to take empty freight cars to the coaling plant, Molly puffed sadly. I want to take full freight cars like a really useful engine. This made Thomas feel sad. How can I help Molly feel important, he thought to himself. Then he saw some tarps flapping in the wind. This gave Thomas an idea. I know what we can do, puffed Thomas. Molly reversed the empty freight cars into a siding. Thomas asked Molly's driver to cover her freight cars with the tarps. With your cars covered up, no one will know they are empty, puffed Thomas. We can make everyone think you're carrying a special delivery. Then I will feel important, Molly chuffed cheerfully. Later, when Thomas saw Emily at the station, he told her all about Molly's special. What is it? asked Emily. Not telling, Thomas puffed. But it's the most special special of all. And every time Thomas saw another engine, he told them all about Molly's special special. Soon all the engines were talking about Molly's special. They were excited. Except Gordon. It won't be as important as my express, Gordon huffed. Molly's special is much more important than the express, puffed Thomas. And you'll see it tonight at Abbey Station. But then Thomas was worried. How can I make Molly's freight cars look even more special than Gordon's express, he wondered. Later that evening, Thomas saw a station master lighting lanterns. This gave him another idea. Can I borrow your lanterns? Thomas puffed to the station master. Of course, the station master replied. Soon, Thomas's trucks were filled with the lanterns, and he puffed away to find Molly. Soon, Molly's freight cars were decorated with the beautiful lanterns. She was taking the cars to the coaling plant for a very important job. Your freight cars look very special now, puffed Thomas. You must go through Abbey Station. Lots of engines will be there to see you. The lanterns on Molly's freight cars twinkled like stars in the night. When Thomas and Molly arrived at Abbey Station, Emily, Percy, and Gordon were waiting. Percy gasped. Ooh! She looks magnificent, exclaimed Emily. And for the first time since she'd been on Sodor, Molly felt special. But not for long. A strong gust of wind blew one of the tarps into the air. Oh, no! gasped Thomas. Now everyone could see there was nothing inside. Those freight cars are empty! Gordon huffed. I knew it couldn't be as important as the express. So there isn't a special special? Percy puffed sadly. Molly felt silly and not very important at all. So she puffed away as fast as she could. Tom Thomas felt very bad. Just then, Sir Topham Hatt called the station master. And the station master came to see Thomas. There are lots of engines waiting at the coaling plant, the station master said. They're waiting for Molly's freight cars. Oh, no, moaned Thomas. I've got to find Molly quickly. Molly had stopped in a siding. 
She looked very sad. I'm sorry I made you look silly, puffed Thomas, but they are waiting for your empty freight cars at the coaling plant. But I've nearly run out of coal, moaned Molly. Don't worry, Puff Thomas. I can help you get there. So Thomas pushed and Molly pulled. Thomas and Molly worked together. And they arrived at the coaling plant in no time at all. There were lots of engines waiting for them. They all needed the empty freight cars to start their nighttime deliveries. Your empty freight cars were important after all, Puff Thomas. Molly felt so proud, it made her axles tingle. We need even more freight cars, chuffed Henry. I'll get them, Molly chuffed cheerfully. And I'll help, Puff Thomas. Molly filled up with more coal, then Molly and Thomas raced back to the yard. They collected some more empty freight cars, and they puffed quickly away. Gordon was stopped at a junction. His signal had turned to red. Out of the way, puffed Molly. Empty freight cars coming through? You see, laughed Thomas. Sometimes empty freight cars are more important than your express. <laughs> Gordon's face went as red as the signal. And Molly felt more special than special.